What's up, Superhumans? BT here. Today, I've got a fun video for you that I wouldn't normally do. For one reason, it's a, a bunch of products, and only a few of these, I think, are worthy of an entire dedicated video, but so many of them are awesome. They're products that I really enjoy. There are only a few that I haven't personally used, but their average rating is so high that I think it's a safe bet and you're saving so much money and I and I use kind of like the knockoff version of that product, if that makes sense. Also, because it's Amazon Prime Day, one of the products, one of my favorite products right now, uh, I was actually in a commercial for and I wanted to show off the commercial and this is a great way to do it. Plus it's only like 30 seconds, all right? so. Yes, today we are looking for the hidden gems inside of the Amazon Prime Day. I'm gonna have some that you're maybe expecting, but quite a few that I don't think you are. And a lot of these products, I'm gonna tell you, hey, don't get this version, get this version because it's an even better deal. Hopefully you enjoy that format. All right, let's get started. You guys know how much I love technology. I love tech. And if you're watching this channel, you probably do too. If you're following this channel and watching this video, you probably do too. Well, every tech enthusiast needs a way to power and charge that tech. And this first one is something I wish I had personally. I have a competitor to this, but I spent like three times as much to get it. This is a crazy deal. This is the DJI Power 1000 and it's 40% off. So even though this is gonna be one of the most expensive things I show, it is honestly one of the most functional and valuable. I find myself using my Delta Pro, which is the competitor all the time. This thing has even better specs and it's significantly cheaper. Some of the standout features, it's 1,024 watt hours, which is significant, but more than that. You can charge this thing from zero to 100% in just 70 minutes. That's insane. Yeah, I think mine takes two or three hours, I wanna say. Not only that, it has two USB-C power delivery uh, ports that deliver 140 watts each. That is also incredible. Normally what you find on these things is just 100 watts. So this will absolutely charge up your laptop or anything like that. Why is this so functional? Well, it gives you kind of peace of mind. Right now I'm thinking about Chicago and Houston. They're out of power. Chicago's getting a tornado. These things can basically act as like little backup home generators. They're not gonna power your entire home for an entire day, but they can give you an emergency power if you need. Plus this one is solar panel uh, capable, so you can attach a solar panel and charge it up that way. But if you don't have one of these, it's an incredible buy, save yourself 40% off, and I think you're gonna use the hell out of it. What if you just need a power bank for kind of your everyday carry? Well. You're in luck. The Anchor Power Prime is on sale today and tomorrow for 119 bucks. When I bought this, I bought it right before we went to South Africa. So I wanna say that was about three months ago. It was $180. So you're saving a significant amount. It's got 27,650 milliamp hours, which is a ton. It's two, how, how many watt hours is that? 99 watt hours. It's the second biggest power bank you can possibly take on a plane safely. Uh, my only gripes with it is I wish it had a few more ports. It's only got three, but then again, most power banks only have three. Now, these USB-C outs, I believe, are they 140 watts each or 100 watts each? Single, okay, so single port is 140 watts. If you double up, I think it's 100 watts but it's got 250 watt uh, total. Now, one of the coolest features about this, and I, I didn't realize it at the time, is it's got super mega fast charging. Now, it's got fast charging if you just plug into one of these USB-C PD ports and charge it that way. But you can actually use both ports at the same time to charge it even quicker. It's got a beautiful little LED screen that tells you the percentage. It's got a couple of other crazy features. It's got a smart app. I personally don't use it that much, but one of the things you can do is locate this thing if you were to lose it. 
via the Smart app. Anyway, everybody needs, every techie needs a really good power bank and I've really enjoyed this one. It's been solid, no complaints, tons of juice, three different ports, they're all power delivery and it charges insanely fast. There you go. The thing that kind of started this channel and something I've been using for nearly five years now is Whoop. Normally, when you buy Whoop, you buy it off their website. It's $239 for an annual membership. If you want a two-year membership, it's a little bit more. So if you get Whoop via Amazon, you can get it for $199. You know how much I love Whoop. I've got a ton of videos on Whoop. If you don't know what it is, I will link a few of the most important videos down below. But two uh, $199, 200 bucks is a screaming deal. Now, if you don't want something with a subscription, you guys know how much I love my Apple Watch Ultra. Also did a pretty gnarly video. Well, videos, I've done four or five on the Apple Watch Ultra. I'll also link some of those. I love this watch and I love the freedom it gives me. If you want the best deal on an Apple Watch right now, it's the Apple Watch SE with GPS and cellular. That's where you save the most money, 25% compared to like 14% on other watches. So if you get the Apple Watch SE, it's only $249. And that means you can get very much a Whoop-like experience using a couple of specific apps. I'll try to link that also in the description. But for $250, it's yours. You don't have to pay a subscription fee. And with the GPS and cellular, you get all of that freedom that you would with the Apple Watch Ultra, but at like a third of the cost. If you're like me, headphones are a must for the gym or for a run. If I get to the gym and I haven't got my headphones, I, <laughs> I know this sounds awful. I normally abandon the gym session or I try, I live pretty close, I'll drive back home and get the headphones. That's how important they are to me. Now, I am not a person that can use the big, bulky, over-the-ear headphones. I have to use earbuds. And I've used two in the last four years. The first one being is something I bought maybe a month ago to replace the other one. And those are the Apple AirPods Pro, the second generation. I will say that they fit really well. Uh, the little slide thing for volume up took a little getting used to, but it works. The noise cancellation on these headphones are absolutely unreal. Better than anything I've ever used. I wish I would have gotten them for the Prime Day because right now they're only 169 bucks and that's cheap compared to what I got mine for. I think I spent like 240 on mine. Now the other version is actually what I would get instead. Truthfully, when I first got these, I didn't like them, but the longer I use them, the more I enjoy them, and that's the Beats Studio Buds. Right now, they're like almost half off. They're only 80 bucks, I wanna say, 79.99. And here's my biggest gripe with the AirPods Pro second generation. They are so finicky when it comes to connecting to my phone. You would think an Apple product would connect effortlessly, it has been nothing but a challenge. I'll get in my car, I'll open them up, and maybe the right one pairs, but the left one doesn't, or the right one dies and the left one doesn't. It drives me nuts. Anyway, the pairing process has been a, has been a super hassle, and the reason I would re recommend the Beats over the AirPods Pro is because pairing is instantaneous, and it happens like every single time. I really never had a problem with them. And I think they are a little bit more comfortable than the AirPods Pro. So Beats Studio Buds, 80 bucks. You can save a ton of money right now. Definitely pick those up. Even if you got a pair of you know earbuds, I would maybe buy the Beats Studio as like a backup just in case and just leave them in your car. Over the last few months, I've experienced a few injuries and getting to a physio, a chiropractor, and a massage therapist has been proven has proven to be a bit of a challenge, not only financially, but also with my schedule. As open as I am, it's still hard to get in and see some of those people. So I've been trying to do more of my own physical therapy, self-myofascial release. These are some of my favorite tools. Now recently, I've been having a, like back problems. You know, I broke my back. 
got a double compression fracture. That's why I quit volleyball. And now that my job consists of so much sitting, I used to be on my feet all day, but because I edit, I'm sitting down a lot. My back pain is slowly starting to creep in. And one of the reasons for that is because my anterior tissues, like my psoas, my iliacus, my hip flexors are all very tight. So recently I bought a SMR tool called The Hook from Aletha Help. And it's uh, going to release your psoas and iliacus. Now here's the deal, does it work? I'm too early on to give you a full review, but I feel like it does. I'm only a week into it. However, it cost me $200. Good God, that's a lot of money, $200. But right now, if you go on to Amazon, you take advantage of the Prime Day deal, you can get the SoRite for much cheaper. Very similar, it's supposed to do the same thing. Now, I personally have not used the SoRite, but it's been around forever. It's got rave reviews. I think you're safe giving it a shot. Plus with Amazon's return policy, if you don't really enjoy it, you can return it. There are a few pieces of fitness equipment I think everybody needs to own because of the price and the versatility, the functionality. The first one being a set of resistance bands. They can literally do anything you can think of. Strength, mobility, you name it. Now, all of them are basically the same, okay? They're all getting manufactured the same way. There are very little differences between brands. So don't go for these. I think they're called Icon. They're insanely expensive, like 80 bucks. Get the SunPal version. You're gonna save a ton of money. The second thing is probably the most underrated strength improvement tool ever created. Everybody neglects this. Whenever I go to the gym and do this, I swear to God, I'm the only one. In the last four years, I think I'm still the only person I've ever seen train grip strength. With a simple set of grippers, you can improve your overall strength tremendously. Think of the deadlift. Your ultimate limiting factor is going to be your grips. If you can improve your grips, you can improve your deadlift. If you improve your deadlift, you're gonna probably get a little bit faster. You're gonna jump a little bit higher. You see my point. Get yourself a set of grippers. However, don't get the captains a crush. Yes, they're the best, but they're also anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks for just one single gripper. If you're just getting into this, you don't need that. Get the entry level set. This set, you can get all six grippers, 50 to 350 pounds. If you can do 350 pounds, I will give you a crisp high five. Like the most I've ever done is 250. And while that's not crazy, it is above average. And it feels like my hands are gonna explode if I do it. All I'm saying is it's more than enough. It's 20% off and it's only $32. So for less than 70 bucks, you can essentially have a home gym that will do anything you possibly need. I don't use many supplements. The ones I use are supplements that I know work and I enjoy. This first one is something that kind of exploded because of uh, Andrew Huberman and that's Tongat Ali. And it's a great way to naturally improve your testosterone. Momentus is a huge uh, name in the Tongat Ali supplementation. Don't use it though. Like the Momentus one is underdosed. You're supposed to be taking at least 600 milligrams. It's only 400 milligrams. It's only got 30 days serving. The double wood for four bucks more is gonna give you twice the dose, more than twice the dose, and twice the servings. Now, earlier I told you one of my favorite products, uh, they had me in a commercial, and that's what you see behind you, Spilt. I, I love this stuff. This is not sponsored. I don't have any association with Spilt. <laughs> this is just great. It is chocolate milk. This one's strawberry, but it's caffeinated, and it's got a ton of protein. So there's only, 90 milli uh, there's only 90 calories in here. There are no sugars. Uh, it's one gram of total carbohydrate, but 20 grams of protein and 60 milligrams of caffeine. I freaking love these things. And they were super cool. They know I love them and they reached out. They just happened to be making a commercial here in Utah and they were like, hey, do you wanna come do this commercial with us? 
Yes, of course. Welcome to our Q2 budget review meeting. Exciting stuff. We had a 10% increase in sales, so everyone pat okay. yourselves on the back. Or don't. It's your choice, your body. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Spilt Academy Summer Camp Counselor Dom Lewis. My work here is done. Well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, just a super random way to spend a day of water balloon office fight. It was a blast. It sucked to clean up. I, I offered to clean up because um, I'm cool like that. But it was a lot of fun. So normally, I will say, as much as I love these, and I even told them, they're a little overpriced. Like, they are pretty expensive. So take advantage of the Amazon Prime Day deal. You can save seven bucks off of the 12 pack. That's actually a really good deal. Well, there you have it. Those are what I think are the hidden gems of the Amazon Prime Day deals. If you've got one, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.